Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Grant Walker. I'm the acting president of Local 1619, the IFF Local. Um, thank you to every single person that has reached out to our local, as well as our brothers and sisters from surrounding jurisdictions and the other firefighters from this department uh, in this very difficult time. It's a tragedy. Uh, our firefighter was a close friend of many, uh, a very strong community member, and uh, we're thankful, thankful for your thoughts and your prayers in this very difficult time as we uh, prepare to honor the life of one of our uh, firefighter paramedics. Uh, I'd ask that, you know, if you guys have any help, to feel free to reach out. I'll be coordinating on, on the behalf of the family as well as uh, the professional firefighters and paramedics in Prince George's County. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. Let me begin by saying I am profoundly sorry to be coming before you talking about the loss of one of our firefighters, the injury of another firefighter, not quite 24 hours after a Maryland State Trooper was seriously injured on the Beltway. This evening at about 7.30, a relative of the involved individual, a resident of 5007 Sharon Road, called for assistance because he believed that his relative, again, the resident of 5007 Sharon, was potentially experiencing a medical emergency. They tried to get his attention, knocked on the door. Uh, the door was not answered. At that point, they decided the best course of action was to try to enter the home, to check on the individual. Shortly after beginning that process, a series of several shots were fired at the firefighters. And as Assistant Chief Barksdale has detail for you, two of those firefighters were struck as well as the relative who initiated the concern on behalf of the resident. The resident was apprehended by responding Prince George's County police officers. He is in the Criminal Investigations Division right now, and our detectives are interviewing him. We are currently working through a number of crime scenes, and I unfortunately, almost four hours into this, don't have a lot more details for you, but I will invite uh, the county executive to come up and make an address and after that, if you have particular questions, I'll endeavor to answer them. Thank you. Respect you. Thank you. Um, once again, unfortunately, I've got to go before uh, the people of Prince George's County and let them know that we lost another one of our brave um, firefighters uh, doing what they do every day. These men and women put their lives on the line. Um, and unfortunately, tonight, we lost one of them. Uh, we have one that is uh, in surgery, our prayers, of course, go out to him and to his family. Uh, I met with the, the officer, uh, firefighter, who uh, we've lost. I met with his wife and mom. This is a sad day in Prince George's County. Um, as the chief said, uh, this is an ongoing investigation, which is why I'm glad that our state's attorney here, Angela also Brooks, is here today. Um, as uh, Assistant Chief uh, Barksdale said, um, gave you the background of what happened. It's a sad day for us, but it will on, this will be ongoing. As we get more information, we will let you know. But right now, the main thing that we ask for the men and women of Prince George's County is for your prayers, your thoughts. Um, as I know that for my family, go out to our, our lost brave soul. And um, with that, I will turn it back over to answer any questions. Any questions? second person was shot. Was he a volunteer? He was a volunteer. Yes.